I'm still Balázs Nagy Navarro. I'm still a journalist by profession, but not by work, because I had been fired on the 27th of December, and I exited on the way. The reason is because we started this protest, and of course the employer tried to do everything in his own power and capacity to get rid of us. Well, yesterday, officially, on the last day of the year, 2011, I stopped the hunger strike after more than three weeks. So on the 22nd day, I start eating uh, solid food again, at least a bit. So now I'm in the recovering, recovering period at the beginning. Actually, it's, it's okay. I was expected that when I start eating my more solid food that I will have stomachache or something, but so far it, I wouldn't say that everything is perfect, but it's okay more or less. In Britain nobody would accept that the governments would try to put directly their own people if they won an election in, in key positions. In BBC you don't, you don't see that the head of the news is changing just because there is a change of government. Here is you see it on the same day almost. You don't see that when it's a change of government, or you have a coalition of liberals and conservatives, that then liberals and conservatives guys, or the people close to them, they just appear as, uh, as parachuters in the public media sectors, and they took over key positions. Nobody would accept it. That would be a big outcry and scandal. But here, this is what's going on. We started a movement just on the last day of the year, the movement of the clean heads. Hands. So yeah, clean hands would mean uh, we have been here on the protest. It was started on a very civic protest against the falsification and distortion of information of the public media news service. And we have met so far many supporters from the civic society and they expressed their support and also their anger over many similar things in the country. So that's why we decided that we should do maybe more and uh, public media would be a very important part of it. We're trying to set up an alternative media system because the public media is just by words. In reality, it's a, it's a govern, government-run and government-serving media service uh, with corruption as one of the main points also behind all the anger of the people, not just the dismantling of the democratic values and the democratic society. So we try to put some spotlight on kind of corruptions which is not also not reported in the news. The government would like to celebrate the new constitution which is not constitution, just basic law, which uh, for many of us is a serious setback and a serious uh, danger for the democracy, taking back or rights, taking away rights which we saw that it couldn't be taken away in a democratic society, so they will celebrate this, they try to celebrate in the Opera House this evening. Now we are talking about the 2nd of January 2012, and we will make another kind of celebration. We will celebrate the old constitution, we will celebrate the real constitution, which we officially had still at the last day of the year of 2011, and we will express our protest. Hunger strikes started uh, by my colleague Aaron Kasavo and me on December 10th. We are both journalists from the public media, uh, editors, news editors and, and reporter. And we are also vice presidents of a trade union called Television and Filmmakers Independent Trade Unions, TFS in Hungarian. And, uh, and then we were joined and other public TV guy from the production side, Sándor Patakfalvi, and, uh, and another trade union you know, leader from the Duna Television, it's also public television. We have been working in the MTV, another public television, there are two, MTV and Duna Television. So these are the trade union you know, leaders, Peter Virag, who is uh, the leader of the, of the Duna Television working trade union. He, was the, he is the president still, so he joined us. And then also joined us a couple of days later, Arthur Sorel Kembe, who is a, a TV personality from a soap opera commercial television, but who has been uh, doing and uh, running uh, programs on the public television Duna as a as a reporter and also as a as a presenter. He had been fired just recently, you know, a couple of weeks ago. Officially, I think he's still.
uh, an employee of the company, but he's having like his uh, last days. Uh, and then we uh, later we were joined uh, people from from the society, uh, like uh, ordinary people, housewife with five kids, men and women. And now we have like a mixture. Some people from the journalist side and media side, others which has nothing to do with with the media, also actors or relatives of journalists did join us. Tishandor Magyasai, he is from the movement One Million People for Democracy. So he's an activist. He he has been doing and he is now the the, the most uh, serving guy in this hunger strike role. He has been here now in the, I think it's the 16th day. Uh, he is still going on with the hunger strike. We recommended him also to stop and having other people to replace him because this is the time after two weeks when it can be already risk for the health. We have been dismissed uh, on the 27th in a very uh, comic, tragic comic way. So I think it's also alone makes that the firing was illegal. But nevertheless, we know that this whole thing is not about so much whether they have the right to do it. They just did it, buying time that it will be court procedure. The courts in Hungary, as maybe in other countries, also quite slow. So there will be first level of decision, and second level is usually on a, at an extra year. So they are just thinking maybe <laughs> until the elections, there won't be even a court decision. So they just got rid of us. The only thing about this firing that's also about like violating the, the rights of the trade union leaders. If they can fire this way, trade union leaders, you can understand why the people scared and didn't want to speak out because they know this is like a kind of show for everybody. This is what is the consequences. What are the consequences if you speak out against the employer? Well, the focus is also that these are interconnected parts also. These guys in the public media, they were put there, they were appointed by those people in the governments or by those people they, who are close to the governments. They couldn't do this without approval, tacit or not tacit approval of the government sides. You couldn't dare to do this in any normal democratic society except that you feel that there is a political backing of it. The public media guys, all of them are very close, who are in leadership position, very close to the current government, so you cannot say that they are really independent. The money which they have, the public media, is now parts of the budget, of the state budget, so the, the link is very clear. But if you put in the bigger picture of all these things, you have the media restriction, you have now combined media service, which they're having the same kind of distorted, falsified information. Then you see the dismantling of the state of law, the legal parts of the democracy. In this year, they have more than 200 laws approved it means every second day you have a law, you can imagine what kind of, uh, of uh, really, co really like dialogue or, 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 or understanding of different parts of the society or expertise could have been when you have a law every second day after 20 years of, of changes. So there is no like a, like a need for, for rapid changes because we are going from a tyrannic or authoritarian society to democracy. After 20 years of democracy, they are doing this. They, whenever they are having the current government problem with the state of law, European or, or Hungarian democratic uh, experiences, then they just change the law uh, in a day or two days period. It would be unthinkable in any other countries. They change the constitutions almost bi-weekly. They had so many changes and now they have a constitution which even hasn't got the name of constitutions in Hungary and it just, they said, uh, it's a basic law. They took out of the the name of Republic from the name of Hungarian Republic. I mean, this all tells you more than just the words by the law or by the new called basic law. It's, it tells you that something is, is, is building up. So it all these changes going in the same direction. I think uh, really dismantling the democratic parts of the society and making a kind of authoritarian regime with democratic elements. So I have no doubt there will be elections. I have no doubt there will be former parliamentary parties. But uh, all the restriction means that you cannot exercise uh, your rights freely and uh, without fear. So that's the main problem.